educational. It's still your girl, Chama Menajiba. And we're gonna have a math class today. And our topic is gonna be square and square root. What is a square? A square of a number is a number multiplied by itself. Now, don't be confused. And a square of a number is a number multiplied by itself. That means if I ask you for a square of 5, this 2 representing square. If I ask you for a square of 5, it means 5 times 5, which gives us 25. Okay? Now, the square root of a number is a number that multiplies itself to give a bigger number. The square root of 36, this symbol here represents square root. The square root of 36 is 6 times 6. It's because 6 multiplies itself to give 36. So, to look for a square root of 36, you need to look for a number that, when it multiplies itself, it gives you 36. That's how we have 6 times 6, 36. Then, let's look at some examples. We have find the square of 25. We must know the difference between square and square root. Now, for 25, square is presented with 2. Of, that is 25 raised to the power of 2. That is 25, that is 225, that is 25 times 25, which gives you 625. Now, let's look at another here. It says, find the square of 60. 60 raised to the power of 2. That is 60 squared. That is 60 times 60, which gives you 3,600. Now, let's look at the square root. It says, find the square root of 64. Looking for the square root of 64, you need to look for a number that when you multiply both of them together, it gives you 64. And the number must be the same. And we have 8. 8 times 8 will give you 64. Now, 8 times 8 also means 8 squared. So this square is going to cancel the square, leaving us with 8. So that's how they got 8. 8 is the square root of 64. Now, looking at another number, we have find the square root of 6,400. 6,400. Now, this one is easier because it has 0. So you just separate it. Because you separate it, two zeros are here. So it says 64 times. 100 because 64 times 100 give you 6400. So you separate it and look for the square root individually. So you look for the square root of 64 and you look for the square root of 100. And the square root of 64 is 8 and the square root of 100 is 10 because 8 times 8 gives you 64. 10 times 10 will give you 100. So you multiply it together 8 times 10 which will give you 80. So 80 is the square root of 6400. Now find the square root of 49 times 81. 41 times 81. Now, it's easy because you just look for it individually. You already have 49 and you have 81. You just look for a number that when you multiply it together, it will give you 49. And when you multiply the next number, it will give you 81. So if you multiply 7 times 7, it will give you 49. And 9 times 9 will give you 81. So you do 7 times 9, which goes to 63. So 63 is the square root of 49 times 8 Now, I have an assignment for you here. Use it when you use this as an example. Our first assignment find the square of the numbers between 10 to 25. That is, you look for a square of 10, 11, 12, 13 to get to 25. It will help you know more of your squares. Then, the second number, find the square root of the following. We have square root of 441, square root of 256. Square root of 36 times 441. I'll be expecting your answers at the comment box below. Like this video, share, subscribe, and see you in our next class. Love you all.